Now a few years ago, there was a huge redwood tree, approximately 120 years old, and the local community were told that the, uh, the tree was in ill health and needed to be removed. So the tree itself had been a local landmark for a long time. So the local community decided, instead of ripping the tree out and, and just forgetting about it, they decided to carve an Anzac memorial into the tree. It sits on the intersection of Soldiers Settlement Road. Now man, it is absolutely glorious. We're gonna shoot it in infrared because we've got some beautiful blue skies. We've got some wispy white clouds. We've got a nice bit of foliage on the tree still. It is stunning, absolutely stunning. Now I'm gonna shoot this with a 14 millimeter F2 lens. That equates to roughly 21 millimeters on full frame equivalent. And just look at this. This is, this is more or less the angle I'm gonna shoot it from because I wanna get the base in there. I want to get the, uh, the two Anzac soldiers there, one from Australia, one from New Zealand. Australian New Zealand Army Corps, Anzac. The beautiful trees in the background. Nice bit of foliage on. Beautiful blue skies and that wispy white cloud above. It looks pretty impressive. Now this carving was done by a guy called Chris Elliott and Hugh Tarihar. Now unfortunately, Hugh, who is a master carver, he died in 2022. So this, uh, this memorial is uh, it's also dedicated to him. It was still under construction when, uh, when Hugh sadly passed. Now I'm shooting this ISO 200 f5.6 and it's giving me 1 60th of a second, which is fine. Now I don't know if this is gonna come out in the video or even in the stills, but right between the two heads of the, uh, the soldiers there, we've got the moon. Don't know if it's gonna come out too well, but we'll, we'll see. I'm just going to try a shot from the other side, looking back towards the sun. You get some serious light rays looking straight into the sun. So we're just going to hide the sun behind the hat, the head of the soldier on the right. That will give us a nice silhouette backlit shot. We're going to work our way around the memorial. Just have a look, see what else we can get. I'll try a shot from this side, I reckon. It's looking pretty cool from this side. I just want to walk back a bit further though to get it in context with the landscape. Give it a little bit of scale. Somewhere around about like that. We just walk around a little bit more. Just want to get a few different angles on this. Try that. Let's try a shot from this side. Just because the foliage in the background stands out really well. And then we've got the, uh, the monument again standing proud. I'm just taking a shot with the, uh, with the sunbeams coming through there. And it looks quite cool, actually. Quite like that. Just to put it in perspective, I'm gonna wait until we get a car streaking past, slow shutter speed, get some movement in the car, just to put it in context of where it is. We may have a bit of a wait though. Oh, I can hear a car, I can hear a car. Let's get set up. And that worked okay, but it's a little bit squared on. So what I've done is just angle my way around to the right hand side a little bit. Hopefully won't have too long to wait for another car. I'm absolutely loving those clouds in infrared. They look good in normal light, but in infrared light, oh, completely different. So that would have been quite nice. I've shot it on video, that one. <laughs> I wanted to get a still, but I wanted to see how it looked on the video first. I think it's gonna look pretty cool, so this is a good angle. All we have to do now is wait for another vehicle coming down the road, or up the road, as the case may be. And while I'm waiting for a car to come past, I thought I might as well just angle this shot round so we get the, uh, the road sign in there, Soldier Settlement Road, and we get the memorial as well. It's all about putting this carving into perspective where it is. We've got the memorial on the right hand side, a clump of trees in the middle and a power pole on the left hand side and it just gives it a nice balance in my opinion.
Oh, that car would have been perfect. Huh. The wait goes on. Let's get this shot first. Wait for a car coming down the road, a truck, preferably. No, there's a car coming, I can see a car. Let's get this in the shot, a slow shot of speed, 30th of a second. And the car stopped to admire the view, I think. Because it ain't coming my way yet. Looking back up the road looks pretty cool. Let's get a shot of that. Now, as soon as I started shooting infrared photography, this one has been on my mind. I thought, man, this is gonna stand out, get the right conditions, bit of blue sky, wispy, wispy white cloud. <laughs> What's not to like? Loving it. All right, so for now, that'll do. We'll catch you on a future episode. We might even go berserk and try something other than infrared, just for a change. But I always do when the sun goes out at night, I'm in my cocoon. Yo